Good morning. Observe my background. Does it look familiar? Yes. Exactly. Those are tessellations. A tessellation is created when a shape is repeated over and over again, covering a plane without any gaps or overlaps. Another word for a tessellation is a tiling. The word tessara in Latin means a small stone cube. They were used to make up tessellata. The mosaic pictures forming floors and is often used to refer to pictures or tiles, mostly in the form of animals and other life forms, which cover the surface of a plane in a symmetrical way without overlapping or leaving gaps. There are four ways of moving a motif to another position in the pattern. These were described by Escher. Translation, reflection, rotation, and glide reflection. A translation is a shape that is simply translated or slid across the paper and drawn again in another place. The translation shows that geometric shape in the same alignment as the original. It does not form or flipped. A reflection is a shape that has been flipped, most commonly flipped directly to the left or right over a y axis, or flipped to the top or bottom over an x axis. Reflections can also be done at an angle. If a reflection has been done correctly, you can draw an imaginary line right through the middle and the two parts will be symmetrical mirror images. To reflect a shape across an axis is to plot a spatial corresponding point for every point in the original shape. Rotation is spinning the pattern around a point, rotating it. A rotation, or turn, occurs when an object is moved in a circular fashion around a central point which does not move. A good example of a rotation is one wing of a pinwheel which turns around the center point. Rotations always have a center and an angle of rotation. In glide reflection, reflection and translation are used concurrently much like the following piece by Escher. Horseman. There is no reflectional symmetry nor is there rotational. See you soon guys, bye bye!